The MacBook Pro 14 inch with M3 chip delivers blistering performance and an even brighter display along with surprisingly robust graphics and super long battery life. And at US$15.99 it's relatively affordable. However, Windows system in this price range are better for gaming and you get one less port than the pricier M3 Pro MacBook. I have been using the MacBook Pro M1 Pro for a couple of years as my main laptop, so I was eager to review the MacBook Pro 14-inch M3, especially since its starting price is $400 less. Think of this laptop as the sweet spot between the MacBook Airs and the even more powerful new M3 Pro MacBook Pros. So how does the new MacBook Pro M3 stack up? The M3 chip delivers serious power, boosting 60% faster performance than the MacBook Pro M1 as well as a big graphics boost. You can even play games on this laptop with console-like visuals thanks to hardware accelerated mesh shading and ray tracing. So why get this Apple laptop over the 13-inch or 15-inch MacBook Air? In addition to the faster M3 chip, you get a more vivid 120Hz mini LED display, more ports, and even longer battery life based on our testing. The even faster MacBook Pro with M3 Pro or M3 Max is still the choice for the most demanding creative pros but the MacBook Pro M3 does everything I need and more. As you will see in my MacBook Pro M3 review, this is a beast of a laptop with epic battery life even if you can't get it in the shiny new space black and it earns a spot both on our best MacBook list and overall best laptop list. The bad news is that the MacBook Pro M3 doesn't offer the cool new space black color. This design is reserved for the pricier M3 Pro or M3 Max model. You are stuck with space silver and space gray but otherwise this is a very sleek and sturdy machine. The unibody aluminium design still feels very solid and it weighs a very manageable 3.4 pounds. I also appreciate how easy the lid is to open via the front lip and how cool and quiet the system runs overall. The notch at the top of the display remains a bit of an eyesore but it generally doesn't get in your way. The left side of the MacBook Pro M3 houses the MagSafe charging port as well as two Thunderbolt or USB 4 ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack. You will find the HDMI port and SD card slot on the right of the system. Note that you get one less Thunderbolt port here versus the pricier MacBook Pro M3 Pro and you are limited to one external display in terms of output compared to two for the M3 Pro, so it's worth keeping that in mind before you buy. The MacBook Pro M3's 14-inch mini LED liquid retina exited display is still one of the best you will find on any laptop even if it's not as rich as an OLED panel and Apple has boosted the brightness on the latest model when viewing SDR content. I saw the difference when I put the MacBook Pro M3 and 14-inch MacBook Pro M2 Pro side by side while viewing the trailer of the Marvels. Brie Larson's character was more vibrant on screen and this is backed up by our lab test results. We measured an average brightness of 555 nits for the MacBook Pro M3 screen compared to 449 for the MacBook Pro M2 Pro. The Dell XPS 15 OLED and Surface Laptop Studio 2 were both behind as was the ZenBook 14X OLED. When displaying HDR content, the MacBook Pro M3 reached a searing 1551 nits compared to 648 nits for the Surface Laptop Studio 2. However, we still need to test the Dell and ASUS to compare for HDR performance. Creative pros will appreciate that the MacBook Pro M3's display offers the most accurate colors in its class. On the Delta E test, where zero is perfect, the new MacBook Pro scored 0.11 which beats all of its competitors. The six-speaker sound system on the MacBook Pro 14-inch remains stellar. The whisper-like vocals from Olivia Rodrigo 
on Can't Catch Me Now on Spotify balanced beautifully with the strumming guitar. The bass got a bit lost on the faster shut up and dance from Walk the Moon but there's still plenty of snap. The MacBook Pro's M3 chip is the first 3 nanometer processor for Mac lineup which cramps in more transistors while also featuring a next-gen GPU. This laptop never flinched during my everyday workloads, which includes having dozens of Chrome tabs open at a time across different windows, Slack running, and quick photo edits in Pixel Matter Pro. On Geekbench, which measures overall performance, the MacBook Pro M3 scored 3138 on single core and 12,018 on multi core, which is about 20% faster than the 13 inch MacBook Pro M2. The M3's single core score is also 27% faster than the MacBook Pro with M1 Pro, but its multi core score is slightly lower. How about video editing? In our handbrake test, which we use to transcode a 6.5 GB 4K video to 1080p, the MacBook Pro M3 finished in 5 minutes and 37 seconds. That's over a minute faster than the previous MacBook Pro M2 and over 2 minutes faster than the MacBook Air 15, but the MacBook Pro M1 Pro was speedier. We also run the Puget Bench Photoshop test which assigns a score based on how effectively the laptop uses scripts to apply a series of filters and other adjustments to a number of high-res photographs. The M3 MacBook Pro turned in the highest score of any MacBook we have tested including the M2 MacBook Pro and it needed the least amount of time. The MacBook Pro M3 beats the Windows competition on Geekbench single core but falls a bit behind two systems on the multi core test, and its video editing time is a bit slower than those laptops. However, keep in mind that our MacBook Pro M3 configuration costs $200 US compared to $2,500 US for the Dell XPS 15 OLED and $2,399 US for the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 and $3,299 US for the Surface Laptop Studio 2. Don't expect the fastest SSD performance from this Apple laptop. On the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, the MacBook Pro M3's 1TB drive turned in a read speed of 2769 Mbps and 2904. That's on a par with MacBook Pro 13 inch M2, but behind the Surface Laptop Studio 2. And the 15 inch AR has a faster read speed but slower write speed. The MacBook Pro M3 features an all new 10 core GPU with new dynamic caching technology that dynamically optimizes on cheap memory. And this is paired with both hardware accelerated mesh shading and ray tracing for improved geometry processing and more realistic lightning effects. I had a chance to play the lies of P on the MacBook Pro M3 and Apple's built-in tool reported I was getting a very smooth 60 frames per second on high performance mode at 920 by 1200 pixels as I swung my sword at various enemies. When I upped the graphic presets to very high, the action was a still playable 45 fps. We also benchmarked using Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the MacBook Pro M3 hit 33 FPS at 1920x1200 pixels. The Dell XPS 15 OLED with RTX 4070 GPU hit a predictably higher 67 FPS and the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra which is RTX 4050 reached 54 FPS. On 3D Mark, which measures overall gaming performance, the MacBook Pro M3 scored 7810 on the Extreme Test with 46.8 FPS. The 13 inch MacBook Pro with M2 chip scored 6819 and 40.83 FPS. That's a 13% boost. Overall, the graphics in the MacBook Pro M3 are impressive, but if you want more power, you will want to spring for the M3 MacBook Pro with 14 core GPU. On our battery test, which involves surfing the wave at 150 nits of screen brightness, the MacBook Pro M3 lasted an epic 17 hours and 25 minutes. That's over 3 hours longer than the MacBook Pro M2 Pro and over 2 hours longer than the 15-inch MacBook Air.
The smaller 13 inch MacBook Pro M2 did last an even longer 1820 minute. The Dell XPS 15 OLED, Surface Laptop Studio 2 and Galaxy Book 3 Ultra didn't even break 10 hours. Well, Samsung's laptop barely did, but we had to lower the refresh rate to do it. The MacBook Pro was in Pro Motion mode. In my testing, the MacBook Pro M3 easily lasted several hours during normal work tasks, but gaming definitely took it to tell. In a little under 2 hours of playing Hitman on Steam, the battery had dipped to about 20%. The 14-inch MacBook Pro M3 is a stellar replacement for the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Yes, it costs $300 US more, but think about all the upgrades you get. This laptop packs a bigger and more colorful display, a sharper webcam, more ports, and a big performance boost. The 17 hours of battery life is also pretty amazing. Should you buy this if you have a MacBook Pro M1 Pro? I am still happy using it, but if you have an older Intel Mac or you need something more powerful than the MacBook Air, it's worth the splurge. I just wish you didn't have to give up an extra port at this price versus the MacBook Pro M3 Pro. The MacBook Pro M3 isn't the thinnest laptop in its class, but it packs in a heck of a lot of performance and endurance along with an amazing display, comfy keyboard, and great sound. It's the most well-rounded MacBook for the money.